You don't need 10,000 followers on Instagram to make $10,000 a month. Like you really don't. Like, and I'm just here to tell y'all. Period. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ella and this channel is all about teaching you how to get paid or how to get slayed. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn your post notifications on. Hit that bell button to be notified when we post and share new videos. So if you can tell by from today's title, we're going to be talking about how to gain consistent sales with a small following how to gain consistent sales how to make consistent money even if you don't have a lot of followers so if that sounds like something you want to hear more about be sure to stick around for this video so before we dive in i just want to give y'all a little bit of background a little bit of context about me and my business and give y'all a little background of how i'm able to help y'all with y'all business so if you don't know, I do own a hair company. In my hair company, I sell custom wigs. I sell hair extensions. I sell hair products, hair tools. And um, also I teach wig making classes as well as um, beginner friendly wig courses. So within my company, I've been in business for four years. Um, I have been successfully running my business for four years. And in August, it will be two years full time. So um, what I do is full time. I don't have any other source of income other than my business and then the streams that come from my business. So I can really, really relate to this topic as far as making those consistent sales and being able to fully fund and support your lifestyle without any additional help or any outside sources such as a job or like another side hustle. And I just want to come on here to kind of talk to y'all a little bit about some of the things that I do to help me have consistent sales every month in my business and for me to be able to sustain my business all by itself. So I did jot down a few things that I want to talk to y'all about so I can stay on topic because I am very long winded and I get to talking, but I'm just so excited that I'm really starting this YouTube journey and just sharing all of my knowledge and expertise that I have as far as running a business, especially because I've been doing it for a while now. I've been doing it four years and two years, two of those four years, I've been doing it full time. Um, I quit my professional job, which I went to school for. I got two degrees for as a school counselor to run a business and I've been able to sustain all by myself and i'm very proud of that and i just wanted to come on here and share my journey with some of y'all hopefully it inspires some of y'all um because i know when i was starting out i did seek help from youtube and you know people sharing their stories so you know know what i need to do for my business period so let's start with some okay so let me just back it up a little bit. So this topic is about how to make consistent sales in your business with a small following. So, you know, sometimes people see, y'all, my Instagram notifications going off. That's a good thing because that means the girls is on Instagram liking my stuff. But um, so ignore that in the background. So when it comes to making consistent sales in your business, there are a few pointers and tips that I want to talk to y'all about um, that really helped me, especially because I don't have a massive following. Now on Instagram, I'm almost at 4K because I literally remember when I was trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, but humble beginnings but i remember when i literally was trying to get to 1000 followers on instagram i remember I, I think it was in about 2020 maybe when i um uh, was trying to get to a thousand subscribers and subscribers a thousand followers and i remember um i was so close i was at like 900 something and it was my birthday and i uh went on facebook i went on instagram i went on everywhere and i was like y'all please follow me uh to help me reach my thousand subscribers. That's all I want for my birthday. And it really did help. Okay, y'all, my grandma called me, so my video got cut off a little bit. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So, you know, I was trying to grow my Instagram back in um, 2020, early 2020. I started my business in 2019. And at first it was kind of like a side hustle. So I really wasn't taking it serious. 
Um, I was doing it. I was doing it. I always kind of was um, making money because I've been doing hair for a long time. So people always uh, reached out to me to do their hair because they'll see me with my hair done. And, you know, so I had a little flow um, that really did help. I had a little flow of people knowing that I knew how to uh, do the skills and sorry y'all people knew i knew how to do the skills and you know that really helped me when i was like first starting off because people were familiar with me knowing how to do hair but as a business people were not used to my business they weren't used to what i had to offer they wasn't used to me offering wig services wigs and all this you know all this stuff so let's get into the point of this video and y'all know a little bit about me i do own my own hair company i've been running it for four years two years full time this is what i do this is how i pay my bills this is how i take care of myself this is how i feed my family all that jazz so these are a few things that i compiled that are super important when you're growing your business trying to build brand awareness and bring in those consistent sales so these are some of the things that i would recommend you to do okay so we first going to start with the most important thing all business owners everybody every entrepreneur everybody who owns a business runs a business operates a business must do and that is marketing 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 a business cannot run without marketing marketing is simply showing people what you know how to do and how what you know how to do solves their problems or fixes their needs okay so basically the bottom line that's what marketing is it's me telling you i know how to do something and me showing you why what i know how to do helps you in your life for example i am a wig maker so i'm showing people i know how to make wigs i'm showing them why they should buy my wigs i'm showing them why it's important for them to get these wigs over here versus any wigs that they will see anywhere else why my wigs can fix their problem if they are having a problem worried about glue bringing their hair out that's how my wigs can solve their solution if they're having a problem with um worrying about what they're gonna do to their hair because it's all over their head i got the solution for that if they worry about taking too much time being in a hair shop or taking too much time trying to do their hair daily, my wigs fix that problem. So marketing boils down to showing people what you know how to do and showing why you, what you know how to do fixes their problem, period. So when you're starting a business or when you're trying to get sales, you have to market. You have to show people constantly over and over and over and over what you have to offer period okay and there are many ways that you can market the ways that i market in my business is through emails through text messages and through content those are my main three marketing avenues emails text messages and content that really helps me get my name out and show people what i know how to do so i send emails regularly to the people who sign up to my email list i send text messages regularly i won't say i send text messages as often as i should but i send them i have a text subscriber you know applications and i send them out i also have um uh content marketing content marketing is huge and content marketing is free Email and text marketing is not free. You have to pay for a subscription. You have to pay for the service. You have to pay for, you know, to get that rolling. But content marketing is free. You can do it on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter. I mean, the list goes on. Anywhere where it's a mass of people, you can do content marketing. And simply content marketing is you recording pieces of content or taking pictures of pieces of content and sharing that content with the masses that is a way that gets eyes on your brand you know even if people don't follow you it still shows your brand to all these people so that is a great way to bring awareness to your brand which eventually will capture sales okay so when we talk about marketing you want to make sure you're doing different things creative things to get people to buy into what you're selling so not only do you 
you know, show them what you have to offer, but you also build a connection with them. So, you know, I do content marketing all the time. I post on Instagram, 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 but I also, you know, try to get people to head over to my website. I try to get people to, um, y'all, for some reason, my phone don't want to let me be great. But anyways, we're going to proceed. So the main thing that you want to do when you are trying to gain consistent sales when you're starting your business or growing your business is to market. Market every single day, okay? Whether that is on social media platforms, whether it's in emails, whether it's in text messages, you want to make sure you're marketing, okay? If y'all want a little bit more context about marketing, because marketing is so, it's such a broad spectrum, we'll, it'll take over this whole video. Um, comment down below and let me know if y'all want more details about marketing and how to market your business and different marketing techniques and strategies and stuff. And I'll leave a little bit more in another video. In addition to marketing, let's kind of piggyback on some of the marketing strategies that you can use uh, to help grow your customer base because ultimately how you're going to capture sales is by growing your customer base growing the customers that come to your website that come to your social media that come to your brand and um engage with you so a uh, one way that you could do that is by capturing emails and or phone numbers so that's something that i try to do all the time like so if somebody reaches out to me in my dm i know some businesses like don't dm me no dms like Girl, you could DM me, okay? Like, I ain't leaving no money on the table. So, go ahead and DM me. And then from the DM, they'll be asking questions. They'll be like, you know, can I do it this way? Can I do it that way? I just always be like, go ahead and send me an email. And I'm going to send you an invoice. That way, one, even if I send them the invoice and they're not ready to buy right now, they're already logged into my customer base now. So, they're an email subscriber. So, they're going to start receiving my emails. They're a text subscriber. If they give me their phone number, they're going to start receiving my texts. And that is going to be able to help me bait them in. So, you want to make sure you're capturing emails and phone numbers any chance that you get because that is going to help build your customer base, which will help, you know, convert into sales. Let me know if y'all interested in learning more about marketing and we'll talk about it in another video. But marketing is like such a huge spectrum. It will literally take over this whole video. So my biggest tip that I would say when you are trying to build your sales, grow your business and grow consistent sales is to build your customer base. Okay. And you can do this by many ways. One of the best ways to build your customer base is by marketing. Okay. Email marketing, text marketing, content marketing, all those ways can help you build your customer base. But that is how you are going to get consistent sales is by building your customers, building your community, building the people who are looking forward to what you have to offer. Another thing that will help build your customer base, which eventually will help you get consistent sales is by offering incentives to join the community. So I always talk about, you know, the I say community and, you know, telling people why they should join, why they should be a member. Something that I offer is like the loyalty program. If you join my membership, which is free to join, all you gotta do is drop your email, okay? Um, you, you know, get points and you get points for your birthday and you get, you know, I have this little system set up on my website. Also, uh, I offer incentives such as a giveaway that I might do just for the email subscribers. Like sometimes I give away Starbucks or, you know, different little uh, freebies in the emails or like a, a text coup a text list coupon or a email list coupon. And those incentives that people who are not part of my customer base, my email list, my text list will receive. So the goal is even if you don't have a large following on social media, you want to try to pull in all these people to your website because ultimately social media is just an avenue. They're not ordering from Instagram. I mean, not, not, in my case, anyway, some businesses have their Instagram link where people can order straight through Instagram. But in my case, they're ordering from my website. So my goal is to bring them to my website. So I'm, you know, figuring out ways that I can bring them to my website, whether that's getting their email, their phone number. Even if somebody, they see me in a the store, they be like, oh, your hair's so pretty. Who did your hair? Let me give you a card. On the back of my cards, they have a QR code. They can scan it and they can subscribe to my website. Or I'll take their phone number and I'll, you know, take their uh, information. Most of the time it's the phone number, you know, in the store 
and then I'll add them to my email list or I'll text them my um, website. And once I text them my website, it'll pop up, you know, to enter that email and that helps me build my customer base. So that's one of the best recommendations that I have when you are trying to gain consistent sales with a small following is work on building your customer base. So in addition to the email, we still kind of on the same marketing thing. And again, like I said, marketing has such a wide spectrum, but these are some of the things that I do to help build my customer base. So um, in addition to, um, you know, the email marketing and the text marketing, you also want to have a set expectations for your brand or for your company. So for example, um, an expectation for my brand is every month I send out a newsletter. So my customers, my clients, they can expect to see some updates in a newsletter from me every month. It's usually the very first week of that month. Most of the time I try to get it out on the first, but if not, I'll try to get it out on that first, first Friday of that month. Um, and also another expectation that they can expect from me is like the wig of the month. So these are some things that I put in my business so that my customers are looking forward to it. It also holds me accountable because I know like the girls are going to be waiting on the wig of the month. So by the, the last week of the month, you need to be already working on it or been had it worked on and have these um, expectations set up because they're looking for it. They're looking for it. They're interested in it. So that is something that... Um, will help you build your customer base and help you build brand awareness and customer retention because you are having these expectations for your business, which your customers are looking for, and they are going to con continuously look for that as long as they see that you are consistent with it. They know like, what a week of the month? They asking me, oh, I can't wait for the week of the month. The hype start coming around the last week of the month, you know, or they're expecting a newsletter or they, they be always telling me, oh, I be checking my emails. I be seeing your emails or I ain't get an email this week. You know, they're looking forward to what I have to put out. Okay. So that's tip number one, marketing. <laughs> tip number one is marketing, marketing, marketing. Get used to it, learn it, know it, study it, practice it. It's something that's never going to go away as long as you're an entrepreneur. You have to get comfortable with marketing because it's something that you must do. Every entrepreneur must do, period. Tip number two of how to make consistent sales in your business, and this is for any business, how to make consistent sales in your business every month, even with a small following. So we all know social media is a great place to promote your business. Like that's where most business owners thrive. That's where most business owners are on social media. But there is a small percentage, or actually, I don't know if it's small or large. I don't know. But it's a percentage of business owners that do not operate on social media. I have an example. One of my sister's hairstylists, she um, does her micro links. She does her silk presses. And all that stuff. This lady been a hairstylist for 20 years. Do you understand? And she does not have Instagram. And when I tell you, she's never not booked. She's always booked. She has a great customer base that she has built through trust, through referrals, through um, her consistent work. That brings me up to tip number two. Build your business to customer relationship. Okay. Yes, social media is a great platform to promote your business, but you also can have other ways to build your business. You can have in-person sales. You can have face-to-face. -face, you could do pop shops. You can do, um, you know, go to the market. You can do door-to-door, uh, -door, even though people are not doing that no more. You could do postcards. You could send stuff, um, you know, put flyers out. You can make signs. You could do all these other ways that will bring traction to your business and that's what really helps me too like of course i do really heavily promote on instagram and facebook and now youtube but i also um use my in-person sales to help me grow and mainly a lot of my in-person sales come from referrals it come from people seeing what they saw on somebody else that look good and wondering where they got it from and they refer them to me. And that is a big way to make consistent sales without a big following. Like these people don't even know I have Instagram. 
these people don't even know that uh you know i'm on social media they know their my they know my work because they seen it on whoever that they seen it on so don't just think just because you're not you know booming on social media you're not gonna make no money because that's not true like my social media is you know doing pretty good it's almost at 4k i'm happy about that but that's not stopping my bag that's not stopping me from making my five figure months consistently okay let's talk about it you know and um, you don't need 10,000 followers on Instagram to make $10,000 a month. Like, you really don't. Like, and I'm just here to tell y'all. Period. I'm sure you so, are focused on what your business goals are and aligning that into the life that you're living and not be so consumed with social media. Because social media is a great place, but it's also very hard to focus. Like, it's just so much stuff on there. Like, it's so much information overload. You looking at this person. You looking at this person. You looking at their business. You looking at everything that you not supposed to be looking at. You need to be looking at what your plan is. How you going to bring in this money. What are some ways to attract new customers? What are some ways to keep the customers that you already got? And that's what you got to do. Period. And let me kind of bring it back to this same point business to customer marketing so you want to make sure you are being a walking billboard like you know if you're running a business whether that's a hair business a t-shirt business a nail business or whatever business you need to be a representation of your business at all times like sometimes i fall short because i be going out the house looking bad and it's like baby no like you are a wig maker you need to be looking like a wig maker you need to be slay you need to have your hair done you need to be looking good everywhere you go because people gonna be like how you wig maker and you looking dusty all the time like let's talk about it so you need to make sure your hair is on point, your clothes is on point, your, you know, you, your best self when you step out into the world. And that's what's going to bring money in. Because when you are looking good, you feel good, and that energy radiates, radiates out to others, and they're going to want to be a part of it, period. They're going to want to look good, feel good, and you're going to be able to help them do it. So you always need to be a walk and be a board. So that's point number two, business to customer marketing. Social media is great. It's a great platform, great way to market, but also face-to-face -face referrals, being your own brand ambassador, showing up for yourself, looking cute all the time, representing whether it's your hair, your business. I mean, whether it's a hair business or whether it's a nail business. Like if you a nail tech, look at my nails, dusty. Like, if you're a nail tech, you need to be, your nails need to be tip-top shape. So, when people in the store, they're going to be like, girl, your nails are pretty. Where you get your nails from? Oh, I do want to give you one of my cards. Oh, girl, your hair's so pretty. Where you get your hair done? Oh, I got you. Let me give you one of my cards. Period. So, okay, which takes me to my next point, which is point number three. So, point number three is the best way to make, I won't say the best. I'm saying all these the best. Well, point number three is one of the best ways to make consistent sales, even if you have a small following. And this is by building your customer base and keeping them, okay? Customer retention. The customers that already have shopped with you are more likely to shop with you again than trying to get somebody new who never shopped with you, don't know what you're about, don't know what you got to offer to shop with you so if you already have customers that have shopped with you they like your stuff they like girl i love this week this is my favorite wig or i love this that you made for me like this is my favorite or i love this scrub or, i love this soap or i love whatever you whatever business that you have those are the people that you need to try to keep happy so what did they love about your service okay you need to figure that out and you need to do more of that oh did they i love this color oh well, i need to do some more color Oh, I love the way this fit. Oh, I need to be talking about why you need to get my wigs over here because people are saying they love the way they fit. And that almost takes me to topic number four. This All this stuff kind of go in together. So you need to make sure your customers that you have already, um, have already spent money with you are happy and see how you can meet their needs again so that they can get some more. You know, like um, if it's their favorite, you know, they love wigs. 
try to, you know, uh, convince them to get more wig options or offer things that will help enhance their buy that they already made. For example, I offer wig repair services. So for my customers who already shop with me, well, maybe they don't want to get a wig right now because they didn't spend $500 last month but they want to freshen up their look you know it's still cute like it's still a nice wig still good hair but it don't look like it did when you bought it for me so you offer services that will help solve their problem like oh your wig's not looking fresh anymore no worries i got you i offer a wig cleaning service and it's a win-win they problem gets solved your problem gets solved you're trying to gain consistent sales they're trying to get a new wig or get a fresh look so customer retention is so big like i feel like how my business has grown so well and how i'm able to make consistent sales every month is by my customers who i love so much my clients like <laughs> they so get to my heart because they love my work they love what i'm able to do they love how i treat them i treat them so nice i treat them like they are my family um you know, I'm super understanding, flexible, patient. They patient with me. You know, we 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 be on the same page, like, period. And so, I'm brought down by my customers, my clients. Like, we like this. <laughs> you want to make sure you are retaining your customers, keeping your customers happy, and they're going to continue to shop with you because they like what you have to offer. And especially if they were going to get it anyway. Like, for example, my business is wig wears my business is centered around wig wears these customers wear wigs period before they were shopping with me they was already shopping wigs i came and saw some of the problems that they were having where they was having them at maybe they it wasn't fitting right or maybe they wasn't making them on a sewing machine or maybe they wasn't using good quality hair or maybe um they didn't have a lot of accessibility they was taking too long they didn't have a shop where they can come and or somebody that wasn't giving them enough education, whatever the case may be, I saw their problem. So they was already wearing these wigs anyway. They looking for a, a person who could solve their needs and a person who matched with their vibe that they trying to be on. And so I was the person that came to fill that gap. So that is, um, you know, something that you want to really make sure you hone on to. Like your customers are coming to you because they need something that you have to offer. So those customers that have already came to you, keep them and nurture them and make sure they are needs are being met. Check on them. You know, don't always be salesy, salesy, salesy. Like offer some free value, offer some stuff that like look, I know you already bought a wig, but let me show you how to do this to it. Let me let me throw in a little little some free game or something for you that'll be helpful. You know, like offer some things for your customers. I've been really, really big on this lately trying to do wig tutorials, wig education, really helping them understand what they spend their money on. Because the girls going to spend their money anyway. They're going to get their hair done, period. So it just determines where they're going to get their hair done and why it should be you. And that's by nurturing them and building that relationship and building that community, which has really helped me make consistent sales since I've been having a pretty small following. It's growing, but it's still pretty small. It's under 10K. But that's not stopping me from making, period. And then the last thing that I'm going to talk about is tip number four. And this is social proof. Social proof is a great marketing strategy. Like I said, all this stuff kind of ties back into each other. But it's a great marketing strategy to show people what you have to offer. Other people want it too, period. Like, People want to see it work for somebody else. People want to see how it look on somebody else. People want to see what they buy is something that they can benefit from because they seen it work for somebody else, period. So you need to show social proof in your business. That will definitely help you gain more consistent sales, even if you don't have a big following. You can go on there with some reviews. Even if you only have two reviews, one review, however many reviews, somebody texts you, said they love whatever you have to offer, Clink, screenshot. Let me go ahead and post this. Let me go ahead and put this in Canva. Put a little, you know, a little stars on it or something. Make it look like some. Posting it. And other people are going to be like, hmm, this girl said, you know, this worked for her. Let me, you know, let me see what the hype is about. Let me give it a try. So, Social Proof is a great way to help bring in those consistent sales, even when you don't have a big following. Because you go on that website, the following in the website 
is two totally different things. People can look on your Instagram, your Facebook, your TikTok, your YouTube all day long, but that don't mean that they're gonna go to that website and make that sale. So when they do go to that website, you want to have social proof there. So I have on my website where people can leave reviews and they do. Like, I'm so grateful that my clients, I don't even be asking them or giving them assistance or nothing. They just really satisfied with the product and my service, you know, me treating them nice and taking care of them, make sure that I meet their needs. They leave reviews. So other people see those reviews and be like, all right, let, you know, let me see what's up. Let me give it a try. So that really helps me build consistent sales, you know, by showing proof that what I say that I got or what I say I have to offer is actually legit. You can trust me. You can know that I'm a legit business. I'm a legit person. I ain't finna run off on your money. I ain't finna scam you. I'm finna give you what you pay for um, and all that because I got the proof, okay? I got the receipts to show like I'm about what I say I'm about. But that pretty much sums up this video. Um, in this video, we talked about multiple ways that you can grow your business and gain consistent sales, even with a small following. It don't always have to be about social media. Social media is a great platform to help grow your business, but it's not the only way to grow your business. So uh, make sure y'all take some of these tips. Don't be afraid to grow. Don't be, don't be scared to uh, step outside the box, take risks, um, and, you know, start. Start in your business and continuously stay consistent. Like, I know that's, like, so cliche, but, y'all, I literally cannot believe, like, I do this full-time. Like, it's so crazy because, literally, I have videos in my phone, like, around this time when I was like, I'm just so upset. Like, I got to make all these videos, but I barely can't do it because I got to work and I be tired. Blah, blah, blah. And now, like, this is what I do. Like, this is what I do every single day. Like, this is my life. Like, I wake up and decide, like, what I'm going to do for the day based on what my customers' needs are. And I just get it done. And it's just by the grace of God, but also by the grace of consistency because it's not easy like i know people make it look easy and people tell me that all the time you make it look so easy but baby it's not it's a lot of work it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of dedication it's a lot of sacrifice it's a lot of isolation you be feeling alone like that's one of the reasons i want to start this youtube channel because i do want to connect with people and you know kind of share my story and See who I can inspire because I was inspired by so many people, even if it was one video or two videos or 10 videos that I watched from them and they was on a grind, doing a thing, like, and they really inspired me. So I hope me being on my grind, doing my thing inspires others as well. But I hope y'all were able to take something from this video and learn some tips and tricks that will help you grow your business into a successful six-figure business, even with a small following, because it's definitely possible, period. So make sure y'all subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will be coming back with more videos talking about business, talking about hair, talking about entrepreneurship and all this good stuff. And let me know if y'all interested in any specific topics. Go ahead and drop them topics in the comment section. If y'all want to hear more about marketing or whatever. Because I'm, 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 I'm open. I'm open to discuss everything. And this is really exciting for me. And I'm going to go ahead and end with that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.